Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from sophiedawson.com <laughs> and this is another quick look video where we quickly look at various art books and magazines and this one we're looking at issue number 101 of the Imagine Effects magazine this is for the November 2013 and it says I cannot remember a time when I wasn't physically and mentally stirred by the vast well this is weird, I love the colours of this but I'm not really into um, I'm not really into vehicles. So this isn't my favourite cover. My favourite cover is still this one, issue 100. But this DVD, I love the little guy here. I think he's quite cool. And the weird thing is, and I would say sad thing, is this is the final DVD. Don't imagine. Look at him. Look, popping his head out. <laughs> popping his head out, saying hello. This is the final DVD that they ever did for these Imagine FX magazines. Because after this, they started putting all the content digitally. Which I'm not I'm not happy about that. You have to go online and download it all. The, the reason I don't really like it is, imagine in 50 years time. 50 years time, if the Imagine FX servers have been deleted, that's it. You won't be able to get access to the you won't be able to get access to the um, videos and stuff. If it's on a DVD, you've always got it, and you can also make like backups and stuff. But we'll look at that DVD in a minute. Let's get into this one. Like I said, I love the colours. Blue and orange has always been two. It's like my one of my favourite colour combinations. That is blue and orange, and I, I do love the brush strokes. It's, it's again, it's like Louis. Louis what's he called? Louis Zinnemann. But yeah, I'm not really... that doesn't get me excited. Let's get into it though. Little Claire. Hey! Look, she's got a new uh, image. How cool is that? We get a new image. God, weird. That's mad, that is. Oh, I love that. Because for, uh, for a few years I've been saying she needs a new image. <laughs> she's finally got one. I wonder why they didn't do that last. Actually, I like the fact that they kept that one like that. Issue 100, they kept it like traditional. Let's get into this one then. I love him. He's cool. Is that Star Wars? I'm not sure. Nothing really... That one maybe, I like that one. Nothing, and that one, I like the look of the sketchbook. And him. But nothing else really pops out at me. This is the FX Pose 8 bit. Oh, cool. Look. What a cool little character. I like this one as well. And this one. I love this one though. See, that's, that's um, I'd copy that in my sketchbook. Yeah, I like who's this artist here, look. Daria Widermanska. Cool. Love that. Look at him, look. Out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Quite weird, isn't it? Cool. Hey, that's, um, I've seen. Oh, that reminds me of Bobby Chee, that one. I bet they're inspired by Bobby Chee. I like the um I like the feeling of these characters. Oh cool. These are like very strange style. Long. Everything's very long. I like that. Look. Little red strawberry. Re enter Sandman. Past it. Mass effect. Inkling winners drawn. Oh, they won themselves an inkling. Enter the cave. Hat boy. That's what he's called. Oh, cool. Look at this, look. Here she is. And Stokes. Cool. I did a quick look of one of her books. And Stokes. She's got a green carpet, look. 
It's quite weird, isn't it? Having a green, green carpet. It's got a little um, load of bones down there. Oh, I love it! I love seeing. I love seeing um, art studios. Got a little little letters page. Look, cool. <laughs> he looks like he's been naughty, doesn't he? He's he's eating. He's eating. One, I reckon he's eating one of his kids by accident. Got a bit excited, and he, he's at one of his kids. Sorting your hair out. Have you got any ideas for designing futuristic hairstyles for a game I'm creating? Hmm. I like that one. Nice lighting. Lost in space look. Inspired by the International Space Race. Spaceman. Yeah, I love the um, style of these. I'd love to see this artist do a character in that style. I think it'd be quite cool because look at the. Um, it feels really nice that. I can imagine a character sort of like dancing. Little human, look. That's the uh, that's the moon. That is. I reckon that's what the moon looks like underneath. Pink. What the heck? Can you hear that noise? That's what it is. Is it? There's a gate. There's a big massive gate outside. So if somebody drives their car in it, that's to open and close. Comics. Sketchbook of Thomas Corpy. Oh look, got loads of loads of pages of their sketchbook. Look, that's cool. Moleskin. Yeah, what I like about moleskin is you can fold it flat. I got a little moleskin watercolour book. Sketchbook. So it's one of my, I've nearly used it all up now. Though. I have to get another. The only thing with the moleskin books is they're very expensive. Sometimes I get a bit afraid to use it. That's why I like. Weird. I like her, but I don't like her face. <laughs> her face looks a bit flat. Isn't it weird? I like, I like it better. Look, I like it better in the first bit. Her face doesn't look like it's round enough. Almost looks like her face, her face is made of a block. Cool. I like that. I like the colours. Depict the grand fantasy scene there. What's this here? Like? Enlighten your art. That's what we're looking at next week. This will be fun. Design a space opera character. Sexy. I like that. Devin Caddy Lee. Masking with free hand select. Hey, I like him. Use real reference to design an alien. Oh, look. Look at the way the... Um... He's cool, isn't he? I like him. He's one of my favourites, he is. Create tension in a group scene.
like that. Doesn't look like a group scene though, to me. That looks more like sort of two characters. They don't look connected. They don't look connected to me. Here's our little reviews. What's this here? Mischief. Oh, it's a, it's a piece of software. Oh, yeah. oh, I like that. Huh? Black ink. Is that a book? No, it's a piece of software again. Sculpting the sky at a stylized character. Oh, I love these. Imaginary Friends Studio. <laughs> Imaginary friends, I like that. Put this right down here. That's it, this will be the last time we see it saying disc. In the future it will do, um, what do you call it? Videos, won't it? I'll probably have to blank out the URL as well. But let's go and have a look at this, the final ever Imagine FX magazine DVD. So as we jump into this one, we've got contacts, you've got a little web shite, <laughs> you resource it. I like him, he was he was funny. I like that guy as well. He's, he seems like a really cool teacher. He was on some of the other videos. Got the FX pose bit. That looks fun. And then we've got the workshops. So these are our little... Something about our face is a bit weird. We've got the workshops. These are the ones we've got. She's cool. Oh yeah, I'm looking at him. Right, what one am I going to look at on this? I think I'm going to look at... I'm going to look at... I'm definitely looking at him. I think I'm going to look at her. I'm going to look at this one as well, because I want to see if there's a sketch. Give your character art extra depth. It's quite funny because her face is actually lacking depth. It looks a bit flat. <laughs> it's quite funny, that. Final image. It's a very cool pose, though. Look at that pose. That's what I, I see. This is what I see. I see a line like that, and I see that. Boing! <laughs> I see that. And I like the fact she's with this vehicle. Please let there be a sketch. We got a little um see she looks way cooler in the right at the start. Looks way cooler. Definitely got a lot of attitude there. Oh yeah, I like this look. How how fun is this? Let's have a look at all of these look. What's my favourite what's your favourite one? So far, I like this number three best, I think. Oh, yeah, number six is cool. Oh, that's a nice one, number nine. See, I'll tell you what's really fun about this is, you could actually use these for yourself. <laughs> so you could sort of take, take their idea and turn it into your own drawing. Also, they probably do that. They, they probably keep hold of these thumbnails and then they, they've got more things for the future, ideas, brushes, we've got the brushes as well, what one am I going to look at next, I'm going to look at this one I think, design a space opera character with Devin Candy Lee, got the final image and then you've got the steps, it's our little sketchlet, very rough, very little, look at her leg there, it was just a little point, Weird, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Look at that. You can feel they were super confident when they put that there. They just went for it. Look, you see here, it starts to. It's gotten a. It's gotten a bit more tighter there. Interesting. Look at that there. Cool, that. And then this one, I'm really looking forward to this one. Use real reference to design an alien with Peter Stapleton. 
This has got a little video as well. So we've got the brushes, final images, steps, and then we've got the video. This hasn't got any um, audio there. 45 minutes. Oh yeah, he's actually going to show us him sketching. The thing is, a lot of these videos, they jump straight to the sort of line art. They miss out the sketch. Which I think that's a bit... Well, this isn't really a sketch, is it? I wonder if he's... Um, yeah, look, you can see there's a layer underneath. I wonder if he's... Drawn on top of a... Oh, a cool character that is. <laughs> Something funny about him. I like that. We've got the FX pose a bit. He looks a bit like something out of the eighties or something. Huh. Want some more? I like this one. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, that's brilliant. I like the um, brush strokes. Feels beautiful. Like really, I love it. Who's this? Elias Q. Clark Jr. Yeah, they've got a nice feeling to their brush strokes. Blizzard. They must be working for Blizzard. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Look at that, look. Like they've got like a super sort of re realistic one and then the more cartoony one. That looks nice. Oh, I've seen that one before, I think. Dragons. That's a brilliant dragon. I like that. Spaceships. Hey, look at this, look. <laughs> I like that. Look. She, she's thinking if I shut my eyes it will go away. It won't. It will just get closer. Oh, they were, some of them were cool. In here we've got the newsletter, wallpaper, Q&A files. I love him. <laughs> He's cool, isn't he? I want to see if I can find that one. Blood splattered fleur, fleur, he <laughs> fur. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I like him. He's cool. He's got a sort of innocence about him. He probably doesn't realise how strong he is. Little workshop about creature design. The thing I don't like about these though is they're, they're ripping content from a DVD. Now we're going to start making our armature and I'm threading 3 16th inch aluminum armature wire here through a structure that I've created out of uh, See the thing is, it makes you want to go and buy the DVD so I think it's a bit naughty really. Create the perfect epic landscape with the aided f well, th these, this DVD is probably the weakest one that they've ever done, I think. It's a shame, isn't it? Their final DVD, they sort of went out with a fart. <laughs> instead of instead of with a bang, they went out with a... <laughs> so that was issue number 101 of the Imagine FX magazine. I hope you enjoyed that. I like him. <laughs> I think he's cool. He is cool and he looks quite friendly to me. I hope you enjoyed that. Next week we're looking at this one, issue 102. I've got to say, I think this might be my favourite cover. I'll decide next week, but I've got a feeling that might be my favourite. I hope you join us for that and I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you later for another one.